So I need three sources of income, legal or illegal. I have to get it done. Girl, Atlanta is the home of scam. Two anonymous Atlanta women. They are fighting back against the private parking industry's practice of booting cars. The boot girls in Buckhead are two best friends with a key that unlocks metal boots, and they're making hundreds of dollars using it. We don't got no beef with the people that put boots on the cars, but but we gonna take it off. We gonna take it off. People think it's so taboo, and what they're doing is so risky, but they like it because it's the feel-good story of Robin Hood, right? Take from the rich, give to the poor. Boot girl! People out here suffering with unemployment, people barely got the money to pay for gas. But you would boot them, and then you expect them to pay you, and then they can't pay you, now they caught just stuck. Being not able to get the fuck when you want to get the fuck, it's fucking a fuck. Atlanta hates boots, and they loved when we came with the keys. Fuck you guys, we're fighting back. Ban the boot, we got our keys, we're on your ass. There's not a boot I can't defeat. Oh, there we go. See that? It's unlocked. Atlanta knows Christian and they know the boot girls. I don't know if there's anybody in Atlanta that doesn't know about us. Boot girls. Boot girls in Buckhead. Y'all been yeah. seeing them on the gram on TikTok going crazy. Oh, we'll come take that shit off. They we'll got take that shit off. There's really two sides of the business. I make keys and ship the keys. If you like live in an area that gets booted regularly and you know that you're gonna need it in the future, you should go ahead and buy the keys. But if you get booted same day and you want it to be like more reactive, you need an emergency, you call the boot girls. And that's kind of our yin and yang, you know, like this is my side of the business, that's their side of the business. From all over the country, I get inquiries, but I let folks know they only work in Atlanta. In most cities, it's gonna be the city that does the booting, but not here. The way booting works here, it's privatized. There's no limit to what rules they can put on their parking. Got you, $75. And don't go overnight, because boom, $150. And there's nothing you can do about it. Private property owners contract the booting companies, and they don't even pay the booting companies. The booting companies pay them, they get a kickback. So if it costs $150 to remove your boot, you can be sure that the people who own the apartments you lived at got 75 of it, at least, maybe more. Georgia state senators and an Atlanta city official are now trying to ban the act of booting. This is a bad industry. It's wrong on all levels. I want the boot banned overall. You know, this is really just to raise awareness about getting the boot banned. It's predatory and at times causing unnecessary violence. Booting is extremely predatory. They're not in like our affluent suburbs. Like, I've seen a lot more, like, low-income apartment. You get booted. So they really get off on just bullying people who don't have time or resources, the money, to fight them back that way. This, this is the sound of freedom right here. I recognize the lock from a few things, vending machines and toolboxes. Shout out Lock Picking Lawyer, man. Already, I've been watching his videos for years. And I saw this particular video, he was like, this lock, out of all the locks I use, this is one of the worst, most non-secure locks you can utilize. It turns out that the right tools are nothing but a screwdriver in a tubular lock pick. And I was like, okay, let me buy the tool he's using. And then I hit the streets and I picked the boot. It took me like two minutes. I know how pervasive boots are. I'm not gonna keep this to myself. And so I just started selling the keys, giving the keys, you know, whatever I could do to make sure everybody knew, hey, you could fight back. The biggest thing is the inconvenience of being held up. Say if you have a boot and you need to take it off immediately and the booting company's taking too long or you just can't afford them, you're probably, you're probably gonna call the boot girls. You're not gonna call me. I told y'all I was calling my girls up here. Try to play with me and I told you, you hold tight, buddy. My girls is on the way, not what? What's up, y'all? I'm Boo Baby. And I'm Boo Shiesty. And we're the Boo Girls in Buckhead. Yeah. When we noticed this could be a business when our TikTok blew up. We just did what a hustler mindset would do. Yeah, we knew we was going to be making like $200, $100 a day. Yeah. So that's all we really cared about. That's all about. we needed. Two boots, $50 <laughs> each. Yeah. All we needed was that extra $200. <laughs> I live in Atlanta, so I need three sources of income, legal or illegal. I have to get it done. And we have a couple side hustles, whatever it takes to get the money. Yeah, whatever. We, we do it. Yo. What's up? Christian is our manager. Yeah, yeah he gave us the keys to more boots. He gave us <laughs> the keys to like other boots we couldn't unlock. I got a new key for y'all. Oh, that shit was nice. Let me see this. Can I just want my 15%, nothing else. Yeah, no more, no. 
y'all heard it? 15%. They refuse. Oh, it's okay. I love y'all, so. We love, love you, too. too. I got a customer right here. You got one. We got one. Well, y'all got one. I'm sorry. I'm on y'all page. You get none. The customer said the code didn't work, but he's willing to change his tire to a spare. I can take his spare, too, and go decode it so we can get the second, another one of the codes. All right, That's let's do it. Yeah, fucking nerd. yeah. Where you at? Pretty fucking genius. Let's yeah. do it. And then I guess I'll be spending tonight decoding another boot. Yeah, we gotta get boot. going. A day in the life as being a boot girl, we wake up, we look at our phones, and there will be like probably a list of boots already there. That's a boot girl. Yes. And then we go handle with them, take pictures, eat, smoke. But if we have a boot, we're gonna go take the boot off. Boot girls definitely got all the keys to the city. They're making their own lane, following their own way, and rebelling. But it's really helping so many different people. It's literally like a movement. Y'all wanna put a card in that window? They got a boot. Yeah, getting booted sucks. Being not able to get the fuck when you wanna get the fuck, it's fucking a fuck. We're on our way to a boot. This customer called us and called the booting company. Yeah, hopefully the boot company isn't there so we don't, y'all don't yeah. have to go through nothing for real. All right, is this him? Yeah, is that Kia? She's cute. She's cute. Oh, there's a girl. What's up with y'all? How y'all doing? This happened before, about three months ago. We had a guest, I registered their parking, but I took one second too late to register. Like literally one second too late and they were already putting the boot on. They will sit and watch you get out your car and then as soon as you press the elevator, they'll put a boot in your car. Literally, in that moment. The car is pulling off boot free. Boot free. And of the boots. Way by to the boots. Yeah, now that we're finished here, we have another lady. She was out of town and they're trying to charge 75 a day times five. But we're gonna head over there and take her boot off and keep her from paying 375. They got her for parking on the lawn. If I have this key or not. It's a different type of lock, so don't mind us if it don't work. You know, we're just trying shit right now. I don't have the correct key, I just picked the lock. And I can make a key for this boot with the pick. This is my second time being booted, and it's kind of scary because you're constantly checking your car. You're worried about if your car is going to be booted. You can't really sleep good. If I don't get these boots off my car, I'm unable to go to work, to get tips, to get wages, to even pay this company that's making me feel bullied. All right, y'all, boot girls on three, three, two, one. Boot yes. girls! Did you have cash or cash? I could do whatever y'all want to. It feels great to know we're helping people out. It's not always about the money, too. We've helped people out even when they didn't have the full 50. And they, we yeah. pull up and they tell us last minute, but it's OK. You yeah. know, we still go take your boot off. OK, here go the boot. Undamaged. Ready to boot somebody else, not me though. The guy who actually is in charge of the company, and he's really big and intimidating. So I'm just like fearful because I do live here alone that it'll be some kind of retaliation for the boots being taken off. It's scary meeting up with a boot company when we get there. Oh, ma'am, you can't do it. You can't, um, you can't, can't do it, ma'am. Usually when a boot man will catch us unlocking a boot, He'll first like, be like, hey, hey, and you instantly pull out his phone. Yeah, okay, I got it right here. It. Yeah, take, take your, take your, uh, take your mask off. No, you good. Sometimes they'll either try to block us, step on us. Yes, yeah, step on us. You're finna step no, on her foot. I'm not stepping on hey, your I foot. Hey, you, you need nope. to go, like, for real, for real. Nope, you can't do that. You know, like, try to snatch the boo bag. They, they barely, rarely get physical, really, but when they do, it's like, oh, uh, why? It could be all so simple. We do this too. is our property. Okay. And this is illegal. No, it's not it illegal. Is. It is. It is. It is. Seems to be a, a fine legal line here, right? And you could be charged with a crime. Is, is this even legal? Yes. My name is Daniel Nagel. I've been an attorney here in the Atlanta metro area for over 10 years. Uh, and I am the lawyer for the Boot Girls in Buckhead and Christian Barrett. So the crossroads of the legality in the gray area is whether it is a civil matter or a criminal matter. 
we believe it is, it is a civil matter. So you don't even get into the threshold of getting arrested or anything like that, breaking the law, if it is in fact a civil matter. Even if you believe it is a criminal matter, it's still not illegal so long as there's no damage done to the boot and it's not being taken. We leave their property on their property. No damage, no theft. It's very easy and convenient for booting companies to load up a vehicle with 20 to 30 boots and just boot a bunch of cars. They already know that A, there's no oversight, and B, most people don't want to put up a fuss, and so they're just going to get paid. It's a huge money grab. 375, people don't have it, man. People got kids, barely can pay for their, their kids' food. But you would boot them, so now they have the means to do nothing, period. The crazy thing is the attitude of the booting employees towards people who just want to get the boot removed. I've had people call me about the booting companies physically assaulting the person who wants the boot off their car. They're not supposed to have firearms. That's not supposed to happen. They're not a government entity. They are not law enforcement. They do not have arrest powers. They're regular citizens just like you and me. It's almost like extortion in the mafia. Now that you guys have been working together, I'm sure you have to kind of like battle. Yeah. We currently have uh, some legal, a legal matter in Fulton County. And what happened was one of the girls removed a boot. The police came out there. They ended up arresting one of the girls and then charged her with a felony and three misdemeanors. It's very weird that the police officers took that action because I was literally at a prior boot removal and we called the police. And the police officers told us, it's a civil matter, go ahead and do it. But two, three months later, when the girls are doing it, then they get arrested. We don't know what conversations law enforcement are having with boot companies or boot companies are having with city managers or politicians. They're going to keep it behind closed doors because they want to control the narrative of boot girls being bad. They falsely accused me of stealing one of the boots and also like don't get over a fence, which there was no fence at that lot. But my history with law enforcement, I've been to jail four times. I have a previous criminal history and it just has to do with really fucking up and not moving smarter. And the reasons we really need to hustle is because, like, we like the nice things in life. You know, we're not trying to live a basic life. But, yeah, you know, we love when just people just can sponsor our life. And we just, we can just sit back and, like, we already have a lot to carry with waking up every day and just having to walk around with this fat that ass. ass. <laughs> We're just hustlers, you know, we're in a strip club. Mm -hmm. Some nights, popping it off, dancing. When we're trapping and have these daddies, like once they give us one money, then that means we know somebody else will give us some more. Trap can mean anything, honestly. It's anything that is not legal. Oh God, my feet are screaming. No one wants to be in a strip club all their life or having sugar diets all their life. They really want their own money, but at the end of the day, it's like a hustle's mindset. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Bitch, I'm really ready to get up out of this game. It's hot. I'm ready to get undressed and not for no nigga. We do this shit every day. Like, you know I mean? this boot and shit, you know, right after here. If anybody got a boot, we finna go do the boots. If this boot and shit don't work out, then we gonna be dancing, we gonna be trapping, we gonna be finessing. That's that. Literally hustling. The hustling. Same thing we we've still been always doing. been some hustling motherfuckers. We never. Ain't shit changed. You feel me? Yeah, girl. I remember when I was in Savannah, I ain't have no strip club. I couldn't even work at a strip club. I was 17. As soon as I turned 18, I got up out that bitch. Literally, glad you came to Atlanta. I know, right? We would have never been a thing. Real shit. I'm so glad we're friends. Me too. We make the best money team. We do. It's never going to be a duo, I guess. That's fine. Life has definitely been great when we're being around each other. I love our matching tattoos. You know, because it's hard to find that one friend that you could just really get along with and really just connect with. And Oh, yeah. I trust her with my life. Yeah. Me too. I feel like she'll protect me. Yes. <laughs> most definitely will. Now that we have met this to where we can make $100 in like one minute. Take boots off for $50. That right there should better our life. I'm ready to be out of here, out of this. I feel like life is just gonna keep continuing to get better. By the time next year, this time, we'll be. Yeah, we'll definitely have our own TV show by then. Yeah.
I just hope I can fucking move my mama out of Savannah sooner and uh, this shit ain't gonna cut it. It's getting slow. Today, my mom actually got me to sign a stack of dollars saying from Boot Shiesty for Christmas. She's so proud of me that I love it. Cause it's more than like, just like, oh, my daughter. You know, cause people like, your daughter's still dancing? She like, yeah. Now she's like, you know, my daughter the boot girl. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, my dad's proud. He, he has like, his respect level for me has went up. That's, that's some good. twin, I didn't know that twin. Yeah, man, that nigga respect me, oh. I'm just <laughs> This is 250, this is 150, and these are all hundreds. <laughs> so, it was a slow night. Bye. Bye. Where does life go from here? Now is where the manyan really comes in and flows in and where we don't have to trap no more. Yeah. You only live once. You make I every was. dollar you can. Kind of huh? lean over and eat that shit. Hey. Thanks for helping me that one time. For sure. I'll never forget. Not scripted. This shit is real shit. Mm.